My name is Ryan Bilia. My background is a lot in advertising and television. I wanted to kind of focus a little bit more on film. So I built really a one-stop shop. So I do everything from sound editorial, uh, ADR, Foley, Final Mix. I really like to look at sound design from a conceptual perspective. So really talking to the directors about the emotion that's supposed to be felt in that place. You think about the key and then the key in the lock and then the creak on the door and everything kind of has this rhythmic jump to it. And so the first film I mixed in the space was a film called Land Ho, uh, directed by Aaron Katz and Martha Stevens. There's a great scene where they're at a geyser, and this is a huge geyser. So we really wanted to build up and, and feel the weight of this geyser. So the sound of that geyser is stacked. Six or seven different sounds that make up that geyser burst, including some low frequency rumbles, two different waterfall sprays, uh, an actual geyser blast. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! So I have a number of different libraries um, that I've worked with, as well as recordings that I've made in the past. But right when I built the studio, I actually applied for the hybrid library with uh, Pro Sound Effects and uh, actually received it only a few weeks before I started cutting Lanto. When you know the library, you just go to sounds that you think of. But when you don't know the library, you kind of search in broad terms. And then you begin to kind of flip through sounds. And maybe a sound that's labeled something you might not have jumped to shows up. And you think, wow, there's actually a little part of that sound that works really, really well. Which, for example, in the geyser scene, there's some waterfalls. Which, yeah, you probably think a waterfall with a geyser. But at the same time, they were just chunks of the waterfall sounds that I was finding that really kind of made up the spray and, and worked, worked really, really well. There's a lot of surround ambiences, which I, I don't normally use, um, but they were really beautiful. There's some great wind and ocean wave sounds, um, which obviously in Iceland I used quite a bit of. Um, and that was really nice because I just dropped this surround background in and it just filled out the scene really, really beautifully. Also a lot of great single Foley sounds wood creaks, bed creaks, foot creaks. Lots of libraries have them, but there was something about them. They were really crisp and really sharp, um, so they just cut in really beautifully. And the fact that there was a long stack of a whole bunch of them in sequence, I could just grab, you know, a half second little creak and be able to kind of nudge that around versus having a long recording of creaks and having to cut my own sections out. Budgets across the board are getting a lot smaller. That was sort of my inspiration to build this studio. I saw that there really weren't a lot of, quote, mid-sized studios. The need for high quality is, has never changed. We have to work with making sure that we're creating quality sound, quality film, everything looks great, but in a shorter amount of time and with less money. That's caused people to, to break out of the box a little bit and try new things and, and sometimes at great success, you know, and I've seen some amazing films that have come out that have been done on a, quote, shoestring budget, um, some that I've even worked on myself. Um, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm really excited to see where it's going from here, and, and I'm excited to be a part of it.